there's a lot of people trying to separate God's love and wrath these days. But Isaiah 63, 4 makes that impossible. It says this, For the day of vengeance was in my heart, and my year of redemption had come. Isaiah 63, 4 mashes up God's wrath and God's redemption. As soon as his day of redemption comes, there's also wrath in his heart. And so we see this tension. God wants to draw close to his people to forgive them, but God also has wrath against sin. And so in verse 5, God looks for a solution. He looks around the world for someone to help, for someone to take the wrath, and there was no one. Verse 5 says this, I looked, but there was no one to help. So my own arm brought me salvation, and my wrath upheld me. It's God's promise here that he will achieve salvation for us by himself. That he who has both love and redemption and wrath and anger in himself will be the solution for both of those things. For he himself will give the love and redemption necessary by taking the wrath and anger that we deserved on himself. So we don't need to try to work our way around the fact that God is both wrathful and loving. Because it's in that duality that we see the most amazing manifestation of God's love for us. And that is the cross. God accomplishing salvation for himself by bearing his own wrath.